So it would appear we'll have a pinch hitter coming on now with a runner at first and one gone. Hey, we're pacing up there. The right fielder, number four, Kermit Yellowhorn. All right, one time, right here. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Gordon waits on it. Two down. Afternoon's game ends seven to three. The Diamondbacks jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Randall Delgado is credited with the win. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. And we're going to have a pinch hitter to start things out here in the top half of the inning. Leading off for Arizona, the second baseman. Kermit. Uh, couldn't hold up on the curveball there as he went around for strike one. Hey, I need you right here. One time. And now a pitch on the way. Lifted the other way out to left center. Leighton sprinting after it. He can't hey, get there in time. And now it Good hops time. over the wall for a ground rule double. Well, that will bring a smile to a manager's face every single time. First hitter of the inning just squares it up and bounces it over the fence. Even if it stays in the yard, that's a double either way. 
Up next for the Diamondbacks, the first baseman, Jonathan. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Leighton waits on it. One out. Up next for the Diamondbacks, the center fielder. Jackie. This one's down to third. Nunez comes up with it. And there are two away now. Now batting. The Standing in now, Christian, Christian. Vasquez. As he'll take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Have a rip at it up there, huh? The set and the 1-0. Oh. Now a good it, baby. pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. We've seen him go down on strikes more than once in this game, so this has been a better hey, approach by him at this at bat. Huh? Much more patient, and he's gotten himself into a good hitter's count. 3-0 and oh now. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys, so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. Hey, hit me a C. 3-0. Right here. here it is. And oh, that boy, misses. Ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. Up next for the hey, Diamond nice Bat, get your... the center fielder, Rymo. And that misses for ball four. So the potential go-ahead run moves over to third now. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there, and a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news? A single probably drives in a couple of runs. The third baseman, number 24. And he strikes him out. So a missed opportunity at the plate as he strands three runners, and the side is retired. So they load the bases on just one hit, but three men are left stranded. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. All tied at one and one. Your Mackenzie Waring will come on defensively now as he takes over at second. Now playing second base, number 32, Mackenzie Waring. Let's play ball. position at bay and as a result he's our top player of the game well I thought he did a real nice job on the mound guys he threw strikes and mixed his pitches really well and in the end his performance helped propel them to another victory pitching and defense game two to one the final score this afternoon Brock Stewart gets the W on the mound so that just about does it for Mark DeRosa Dan Plezak Heidi Watney and our entire crew I'm Matt Vaskersian you've been watching MLB the show for more Here make your way over to the show nation dot com for the victorious Dodgers two runs six hits one error they left four men on base time of the ball game three hours and 56 minutes Thank you for joining.
And we're going to have a pinch hitter to start things out here in the top half of the inning. Leading off for Arizona, the first baseman, Kermit Yellowhorn. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Hey, looking for yours now. Come on, kid. Oh, and he hammers it to Get deep up, right Get field. Up. And that is off the wall in right field. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. When you heard the crack of the bat, you just knew that was going to get down for an extra base hit. Great way to start an inning, that's for sure. The center fielder, number three, Michael A. Taylor. Pretty well struck, high on, and deep to left field. Slater looking up. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. It's a two run shot to straight away left. And the Diamondbacks have stretched their lead now to 4 0. Wow, that's what a pitcher gets for not putting what he thought was a bad call in the rearview mirror. I think he was still fuming and didn't get the pitch where he wanted it. The result? A reason to be even more mad. Let's play ball. Ow. Full four. Take your base. You're out. Ow. He's out. Ow. Your attention, please. Pinch hitting for the Giants. Number 52. Miguel. Go, man. Now batting, the left fielder. This is on the ground over the first. And that is through into right field for a single. Wow, I'm not sure how, but it looks like he didn't even touch this thing. Might have been thinking about throwing the ball before he actually caught it. The game moves fast, but you have to do one thing. Three. games at any point but to win games on the road especially in this ballpark so they are very happy with this win for nothing the score this afternoon Arizona wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one Robbie Ray which is well enough to get the W so that just about does it for Mark DeRosa Dan Plezak Heidi Watney and our entire crew I'm Matt Vasquez and you've been watching MLB the show for more make your way over to the shownation.com Final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Diamondbacks. Four runs, 12 hits, one error. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 43 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please.
So a move for a pinch hitter as he'll come on to hit with runners at first and second and still only one out. The right fielder, number four. All right, your pitch right here, right now. Let's go. All right, here we go. We need you here. We need you. Come on, let one fly here. Let's go. Hit Hold it right there. Hold the it right there. He's got it to second for one. On the first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. One hit, one left. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Brewers one and the Diamondbacks nothing. Andy Nava is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 12, Andy Nava. My ball. Ow. Got him. He's out. Three. Ow. Three. you can win a game let alone on the road you have to feel really good about yourself it's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win but they did just that three nothing the final score in this one today the milwaukee brewers jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back carlos martinez is the winning pitcher of record so that just about does it for mark DeRosa, dan plezak heidi watney and our entire crew i'm matt vaskersion you've been watching mlb the show for more make your way over to the show Nation.com. Chasing my dreams because I know I can't make them real. Get a grip on my nerves. I got control of the wheel. I tell them, be who you are, because who you want makes you great. Ain't nothing better than that. You're special in your own ways. If you're working hard for your future. And it would appear we'll have a pinch hitter here to start things out in the bottom of the inning. Leading up for the Diamondbacks, the center fielder. No balls and a strike to count. Franco typically throws a lot of strikes coming in out of the bullpen, right, resulting in low walk totals, although he has been snake bitten by the home run ball at times in the past. One of the keys for this guy, Matt, is not being afraid yeah, to tag the strike zone. Right With that now, said, okay. he is prone to giving up the home runs. I think one of the cause of that, Matty V, he leaves a lot of pitches up. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no-doubt home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field, and it stakes the Diamondbacks to a four to two lead. Great swing right there. Sometimes you just see that ball pop out of that pitcher's hand just a little bit different than that fastball, and he was able to stay back, keep his front shoulder locked, and take that off speed pitch deep. Three. 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 
It's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. Eight to six, the final score tonight. The White Sox came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Raymond Franco earns the victory on the mound. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Our final line score tonight. First for the victorious White Sox, eight runs on 14 hits. No errors, they left five men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 45 minutes. Thank you. And it would appear we'll have a pinch hitter here to start things out in the bottom of the inning. Hey, you can't find it. You can't Leading up it. for the Diamondback, the right fielder, Kermit. Sends that Yellow one out board. of play for strike one. Your pitch, drive it deep, huh? Here you go. He takes it to the opposite Get field, the ball. high and deep to left. And this is going to find some real estate out there as he comes through off the bench with extra bases. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with the single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they can get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. Now bat it. Number 35. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Anderson picks it up. And the off-balance throw beats him at first. And that's a tough play. The batter, number five. Good stop. Good tell. To stand up, stand up. Hull gloves it. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Now batting, the right fielder, Newton Rodriguez. A bouncer to the left side, Sanchez has it. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. We're through five here at the ballpark, and the White Sox are out in front, one to nothing. Your Darren Wallace please. takes over to now start the sixth inning the on the mound. Number 36, Darren Wallace. Let's play ball. Full four. Take the break. Ball four. Take the break. Three. Three. 
game in baseball these days both of these pitchers pitch awfully well it's a shame one of them had to lose this game a single run good enough to do it today one nothing the final score the Chicago White Sox jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back Giancarlo Hines gets the W on the mound so that just about does it for Mark DeRosa Dan Plezak Heidi Watney and our entire crew I'm Matt Vasquez and you've been watching MLB the show for more make your way over to the shownation.com.